Now, covering the low profile ramps from Team Group, I did cover the Vulcan Echo and the Vulcan Alpha. And to finalize the story about the low profile ramps, we have right here this our Team Group T Force Vulcan DDR5, and we have it in a kit with 2 times 16 gigs at 6400 MHz CL40. Now, of course, the timings are a bit higher than what you would expect, but of course, you can choose your perfect. RAM kit that you can go on their website and choose uh, different, of course, speeds and, of course, timings. Speaking of that, what we have and what you can choose from is that you have 2x32, 2x16, 2x8, and then you have everything in a single kit. When we're talking about the speeds from 5200 MHz to 7000 MHz, and finally, we have in different speeds we have different cl so if you go with particularly 6400 you can go from cl30 to cl40 so these ones that i have are cl40 now what we have right here is aluminum heat dissipation solution uh, lifetime warranty which is outstanding pmic on the ecc intel xmp 3.0 we have amd expo as well supported high quality ic and basically that's it when we're talking about some main features slick design clean and doesn't go too high above the pcb board when we're talking about the heatsink which is great because in those terms you you could go with almost well basically literally any uh, air cooler and it won't be obstructed when we're talking about for instance, Noctua NH D15 or the original version or the G2 usually have to push the front fan a bit higher just to be able to place rams that are a bit higher than these ones, which in this scenario, you honestly don't have to because they're really low profile. The interesting thing is they come in black and red, so you have an option to choose it depending on your build, depending on your preferences, it's all up to you. On front we have Vulcan DDR5, we have T-Force logo, on top you have T-Force logo, and at the back of course you have all the information regarding the specific kit that you have in your hand, from the clock speed, kit size, and uh, of course uh, how much individual uh, stick has gigabytes, as well as the latency. But speaking about features, that's basically it. So now basically it's time to go with some benchmarks and check out how they perform. Now install them in a PC that has MSI MPG X870E Carbon Wi-Fi paired up with MD Ryzen 9 9950X 3D. In ADA 64 Extreme Edition Memory Test, we have read speeds at 92,278, write speeds 84,792, copy 82,746, and latency is 79.7 nanoseconds. When we go with other benchmarks, because checking out the speeds you can only compare with the others, but uh, let's go with Cinebench R23. The score is uh, 40,284. Uh, AIDA 64 AES, we have 722,438 megabytes per second. Corona 1.3 with the processor, we have 34 seconds to finish the render with 14.1 million rays per second. The Corona 10, we have 13.2 uh, million rays per second. Indigo Benchmark Bedroom is uh, 5.415 and Supercar is 12.401. And finally, Jetstream 2, 327,914. In general, when you take a look, Team Group as a brand, what you get is a quite nice product, quite solid. We've seen Team Group T-Force Delta, we've seen all other RAMs that went into this segment. And basically, when you take into consideration that in the past reviews, I had Echo and uh, Alpha at 6000 megahertz. So these are a bit higher when we're talking about the clock speed, but I think they had a lower latency. And in that sense, they had faster response. In general, if you're looking for something that is in those terms, low profile, it re really doesn't matter if you go with Echo, if you go with standard Vulcan or Vulcan Alpha, they will perform quite nicely in that solid range. I mean, after all, they are just a low profile RAMs. These are definitely intended for more like SFF builds, um, builds that basically don't have tempered glass, you don't want to see any RGB, or you're just simply going a complete blackout build just for that. In those terms, they are quite solid, they perform well, and the speeds are there. Actually, when you take a look at the graphs, as I stated in one of the past videos, to get more uh, let's say comparison i would have to separate all the benchmarks with 6400 megahertz rams and then you have a different uh, graph with 6000 and of course 
those that can work at 8000 regarding seeing the difference in performance not on AMD but on Intel platforms for instance then you would have to have a different graph for 7200, 8000, 8200, stuff like that, right? So these are quite interesting, especially because they support Intel XMP 3.0 and AMD Expo, and they're quite easy to overclock. Basically, you just have to enable, like any other, the uh, XMP profile, and they work outstandingly good. Nothing to complain about that. And I don't see that much drop in performance regarding other synthetic benchmarks. The speeds, when we're talking about read, write, copy, they're still there and they are performing quite nicely. So all in all, yeah, uh, Team Group T-Force Vulcan DDR5, 2 times 16 and 6400 megahertz. You can choose from CL30 to CL40, it's up to you. Unfortunately, I had the CL40, so you won't get that much uh, fast on latency and uh, response time when we're talking about that. But if you go with low, lower latency, you'll definitely see some benefits with that. That would be all for today in those terms, but you can definitely check them out in the description below because I will definitely link them so you can easily find them and maybe place them in your new SFF build or something that you have a crazy huge uh, air cooler or just simply want to go with no RGB but still have a nice slick aluminum design on the passive heat sink and clean basically. Yeah, so that's it guys. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button Click the notification bell and I'll see you quite shortly in a new one. Bye-bye.